I'm bad. I'm a baddest motherfucker in the world. He's a 10 month sub, but he reloads after every kill. I was late that time. I thought we were on the same channel. I was on wrong page. Sorry. <laughs> What's up, Fry? Wheeler, thank you again, buddy. Um, can't say much. I appreciate you enough. Spores in the house. What's up, bud? Welcome in. Demons in here. We got, what happened there? 360 Scope Master with the follow. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, I am not a 360 Scope Master. <laughs> But, welcome into the mob, either way. Uh, how did you find us here, if I dare ask? Uh, Spore, I'm doing pretty good. Um, had another chiropractor appointment today, and I feel like I'm making progression. 
And uh, today's actually one of the better days. Oh, you know me. Okay, then. Excuse me. Well, that's good. <laughs> All right, give me a hint on who you are then, and then we'll, we'll see if I get it right. Let's see who else is in here. Oh, yeah, so Chaz is in here earlier. I believe he'll be lurking away. Not cryptic or anything. <laughs> I know you. Oh, well, of course. Um, so the good news is... Um, I got a DM from Pavlik Games, who's the developer behind Last Visit. Uh, I had posted on the discussion board on the Steam page for this game that we were stuck because the map wouldn't update after I got um, Uncle Edward's shed closet key. Couldn't figure out what that even meant. And the X on the map wouldn't update. The X on the compass wouldn't update. So I didn't know where to go. Uh, but fortunately, uh, I, I got a DM. He basically explained it. Yeah, the map bug is a true bug. He's going to fix it. So it should clear and then update to the next one. Um, but besides that... Oh, Fry, thank you for the host. Ah, I gotta hit pause. Duh. You do a much better job <laughs> ghost hunting in that game than I ever will. Thank you so much for the host. Uh, so yeah, so I got the DM and said he was going to fix it. However, the next spot should be available to just go unlock with the key and progress forward. And he gave me a hint on where that location is. And you used to live in Pembroke. Hmm. Well, that doesn't help. I know a lot of people that used to live in Pembroke. <laughs> But that gives me a good idea of who you could be, I suppose. A long, long time ago. Um, so yeah, uh, I went and figured out where it was. Um, and unfortunately, and I'll show you why here in a second. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't just go live and then try to solve it with you guys. I found it really quickly. Not that it was that good of a... Um, not that it's that good of a, a hint, but enough where I was like, hmm. You love to fuck with me. I mean, that's that doesn't narrow it down at all. <laughs> it does not narrow it down at all. Um, <laughs> let's see. So yeah, so why don't we uh, why don't we jump into it here while uh, I try to guess who 360 Scope Master is. So. You will recall this location here that had the wood up and we used the axe to break it down. And there's that giant fucking spider in here and everything. And a couple other things. And we went back into the main building over here. And we got the key in the hallway in the closet. Well, I was told to go back to the place where I saw the spider, which was here. I've been looking everywhere. I went to jump back in here. This little fucker came out of nowhere and literally spooked the shit out of me. <laughs> You're a band Oh! I know who it is. <laughs> oh, man. That was the hint of all hints right there. <laughs> so, so this little asshole is in a little pattern. <laughs> um, and I realized, oh! We never opened those doors. It was locked. Use the key. And now... We have a cassette. Um, I knew that would give it away. <laughs> yes, I'd say so. Um, but thank you for being here all the same. Uh, so yes, the cassette tape is in the secret room where I got jump scared by the fucking scarecrow for like the upteenth time. Uh, let's head over there. Also, I have no idea where the fucking scarecrow is. He blew the fucking door open. Can I play with madness? The prophet Here we go. At his crystal ball. Can I play Can with I madness? Play with madness? There's no there at all. Can I play with madness? The prophet looked and he laughed at me. 
Ha ha, he said can I play with madness? Awesome. He said, you're blind, too blind to see. Welcome in Satan, I hope you're doing well today my friend. Happy uh, 10 years to Miro. There's actually a fellow, um, Maiden is in October, yes. Quality's fucked, TTS. Yeah, that's Spore's favorite band. <laughs> Lots of Maiden love in here. Let's see if I get jump scared again. Stop this way, quickly, jump. Anna probably succeeded. Okay, Arthur, run to Tom. I'm sure he'll help us. I'll hide in the alcoholic's house. It'll be fine. <coughs> Tom lives behind the Westbrook. I'll have to follow the. I'll hide in the alcoholic's house. What the fuck kind of direction is that? I heart Ben. You have tickets for Maiden? Nice. Oh, Bobby secured four tickets. Gave me one. I'm super excited. Dude, that's sick. Um, I was trying to look. At, I hit the goddamn wrong button. Sorry. Uh, I heart Diddy. <laughs> Diddy comes in here every once in a while. All right. So I need to go to the trailhead map. Oh, my God. Do I have to legit wander through the woods? Oh no, oh, to the left. Out oh, to the left, it looks like this little path. Because I don't want to go through the creek again. The creek is, I think, is fucked up with that big scary tree that fell over. I also have a ticket for Druin on the same night? Oh no! Oh dude, how do you choose between Iron Maiden and Wardruna? I mean, I'm going to Wardruna because I have tickets to Wardruna. But if I had tickets to both, I would be very confused on what to do. Yes, you told me Maiden's your favorite band. I remember these things. I felt like Mordrin would rather see High Lung. Oh, dude, High Lung is also fantastic. The new album was so good. Boo, Fry, boo. Brutal Dilemma. High Lung is in a couple weeks. Okay, I didn't realize they were coming around. I'm going to see if I can pull that one off. Haha, -ha. no Scarecrow jump scare this time, bitch. All right, let's go. Out here and turn to the left and just go in this direction. And there should be a path out here somewhere. Full Viking kid, I would expect no less. September 8th in a Rammstein, September 9th. Ooh. I have tickets to fucking Rammstein from like three years ago, and I've been so excited to see them again. Seeing them after how long would be fucking tits. Oh, I should fucking go. Alright, I'm gonna look into that. God damn it, now I've Can I play with madness? Stuck in my fucking head. Meanwhile, just, you know, running through the woods with a fucking psychotic scarecrow running after me. And little creepy crawly guys. Where the fuck they are. Uh, yeah, Corn and Evanescence I would have gone to. My sister had tickets, but I can't go because I'm technically on call. And I'd rather go to a show and enjoy it than sit in the back and continuously update tickets via my mobile app. It's, uh... Plus, I haven't seen Evanescence in a fucking minute. It'd be cool to see that. And then, like, Corn I've seen... I think 10 times now. Not to say I wouldn't go and see them, but I'm just saying. <laughs> like. Task. Follow the trail map. Oh, the map just updated to go into that direction. Oh, I see. Follow the arrow. Hmm. I don't like this. Oh my god! This fucking spider, you piece of shit. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Ow, ow. I got hit by an invisible fucking wall, so I couldn't even, uh... Couldn't even get around him unscathed. Son of a bitch. God, fucking came out of nowhere. Um... New task. Get to the other side map? What the fuck? 
Fuck. Fuck. There are lots of fucking... Uh, fuck. Leave me alone. Leave me, I said leave me alone. There, I got to the other side. This thing is on my fucking ass. Or was. Did I make it? Oh, not another fucking cornfield. Okay, I went and hit the mark. Oh, that's the house. Okay, it's way down the other end. What's that movie with the spider in the corner of the room that eats the guy's wife? That scene marked me out. <laughs> spider in the corner of the room that eats the guy's wife. See, every time I think about movies with spiders in it, I think about either arachnophobia, which I've never seen, um, because, I mean, it's my life, um, Eight-Legged Freaks, which is fucking hysterical, and, uh, oh, The Mist, when they're in the store next, the pharmacy next door. That part was fucked, too. Giant-ass spider. It might be arachnophobia. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it. Alright, we're gonna head over to the alcoholic's house, which may just be my house. Unfortunately, I did not do any voice acting in this game. I would have I would have definitely said yes if I was asked, but I know there's a couple of fellow horror streamers that got the opportunity to. The bitch is behind me, right? Cool. Yo, what's up with the music, dog? Dude, the end of the mist, yeah. Dude from Spider Man, Peter Parker, dude. Oh. Um Are we talking about Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man? Andrew Garfield? Surely not Tom Holland. Ooh. We got here. Secret item. Oh, yeah. What's our secret items looking like? I need two more secret items and two more secret places for the second upgrade. All right. We're at his house. He's got a, quite a property here for a drunk guy. Dear Mary, I really miss you, but don't worry. I will protect our daughters even in such a difficult situation. Oh, boy. So far, we haven't found anybody yet that lives in this village. My assumption is they're just all fucking dead at this point. And I'm just here to be the last victim. Let's see. Can I get in through here? Is it locked? Ooh. Um, yo, what? The drunk guy's got some fucking satanic temple over here? Oh, it's Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> or your what's killed them. Uh, well, no, because I got a phone call from the grandmother to come by, and by the time I got here, nobody was here. Um, I mean, I guess that could be it, but it'd be kind of, there's been nothing that's really hinted towards it yet. Alcoholic Steven. Steven came to see me again. This time he asked if I had any very sharp plants growing and if I had seen a rare blue mushroom. He was acting very strangely and often went into the woods. Usually I give him two beers. He leaves me in peace, but this time he preferred not to go. I wanted to send him to Edward, but no luck. He probably wants to make a stronger drink because I heard he was a, he has a lab at home. God. And that was written by Tom, and this is Tom's house. Ooh, we haven't found a tip in a while. I bet you this one's going to be just as uh, helpful as the rest. A disabled flashlight increases the chances of losing a monster. A disabled flashlight increases the chances of losing a monster. So if you shut your flashlight off, it may not be able to find you. Okay, that's what I'll work with. That actually seems like a decent tip, if that's true. Because this AI has been kind of fucking with me. This little red riding hood over here. Being a fucking creep. You're back. Been grinding on GTA 5 for a little bit. Nice. Are you playing online or just the story mode? Honorable mention for Camby's richest resident. That's another fucking file that I don't need. 
shelter. The monsters are already here. Tom hid his daughters in his office. I tried to persuade him to get away from here, but he believes in his traps. He went to his camp to get his guns. I'll hide in his cornfield and think about what to do next. Oh, boy. What's this? All right. Ooh, what did I just find? I found the key. Tom's key opens door to Tom's room. Ooh, okay. Oh, I'll allow it. <laughs> Little red riding hoe. That's fucked. Online and so annoying. Trying to finish the heist, but no one will join. Oh yeah, that's tough. Is it the shoes? What's up, dude? How you doing? How you been? First, Tom's far map search. Okay, so we got more stuff on the map to look for. So I can go into his place and search around, and then that entire cornfield is that task area, which is where what's her name is hiding. Alright, cool. I think this place is cleared out. What's in here? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're gay for Josh Allen. <laughs> I'm alright. I'm up in Vermont for a few days. How about you? Do whereabouts in Vermont? I love going up there. Another secret item. Nice. This beautiful space. Two sc this is some type of puzzle. I bet you this is the hint. Chip in books. I own a lot of chips. They are useful in many situations like broken player, TV, or other things. Unfortunately, they are too frequent target of theft, so I decided to hide them in special place. These will have to work hard to solve the riddle with the books, and we know very well that people avoid books today. Oh, damn. Excuse me. Rutland. I don't think I've been to Rutland. I've been to Waterbury, been to Stowe, Burlington. Um... A couple other places. Uh, Windsor. Nice, man. Hope it's a, hope it's a good trip. So this is Butterfly by James Retinal. Water, nice to meet you. Everything the PC. Two skies. This beautiful space. Uh... Anything else that could be a hint here? <laughs> that was not fucking helpful at all. Nothing up here. Oh, hey, look. It's Doc Islands. <laughs> I see we're going to work at 5 and tilt my hat to you, Connor. We have a great night. Hey, dude, take it easy. Thank you for hopping in and the follow and all that. Thanks for chilling. You're welcome at any time. Appreciate you, bud. I hope your day is an easy one tomorrow for sure. No, dumb wooden block. Okay. Um, like, I thought maybe I could rearrange them to make a sentence. But nothing really makes sense. I mean, they obviously go in some order here, but, hmm. God. Nice. My family's from up here. So far, it's been a good trip. Oh, dude, it's awesome. Uh, I'm not really see Unless it's the amount of words or something. This is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, I'm one, two. On the world. Oh, shit. Sign my mouse pad, Senpei. <laughs> Thank you for the sub again. Dude, ten months, currently on an eight-month streak. Holy shit, Meanie. Um, I have no idea how far we are in the game. I just know we've made it a pretty decent amount. 
was trying to trying to figure out what I would do here. Because <sighs> it's two skies. This beautiful space is three. Everything the PC, I guess, is really four. One, uh, welcome, nice to meet you. Or water, nice to meet you. Is five. And Butterfly by James Burnell is also four. So maybe this is three. And it's not really four. AirPods case. Better go find it. White words. All of them have white words. Let me go check the rest of the house. Maybe there'll be something else that I can derive. Ooh. Blue herb and a health potion on someone's fucking grave. Awesome. Let's check the main house here. Hopefully it's not locked. It's not... Saving the game. Traps. I've seen the dark sky too many times not to guess if something was wrong. Screams from the forest, dead animals, and whispers around the trees as if it was a horror movie. Arthur came to us. His family was attacked by monsters. I had to protect my daughters and built some traps and sharp fences. We hide in the office or in the big hall. Oh, I have his key. Well, I think that's our hint. Save dogs. My dogs are hiding in the office. I've locked them, so they should be safe. But I'll head to my little camp to the south. I should have the right tools that to reinforce the fences and traps to be able to stop these beasts. I just look today for streaming to do school work. Didn't really feel like streaming today. That's fine. Okay, so this is good. This is good. So we got a bunch of stuff to do now. Um... What else we got here? Oh, that's a secret spot. Another secret item. That should be enough. 13, but we need two more secret places. For now, I've got water, astronaut, clouds, butterfly, computer. This is the order of the books that's supposed to go in. So someone write down water, astronaut, cloud, butterfly, computer. Water, astronaut, cloud. Water, astronaut, cloud. Okay. Water, astronaut, cloud. Two skies. Got it. The books are in the right spots. I can take the chip now. You've written them down and hit with four ads. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, I saw a cloud butterfly. Fuck, so we fucking ads. Alright, but what did that just do? I heard a clink. Oh. I just picked something up. Chip, you need it for the player? Was there something in here that I was supposed to use? Because they mentioned the chip in here. It's like, so I guess it might be in here. In the actual house. But okay, that's good. Got that down. Alright, alright, I'm coming. They were upstairs. Shit. Tom's office. Fuck. I don't have Tom's office key, do I? No. Fuck. Shit. Well, now his daughters are dead. <laughs> I was like, they're gonna be in here. Oh, fuck. Nothing else down here. 
I didn't have a good chance to look around here, so let me... It's so fucking weird. <laughs> I just got it through the crack in it. Okay. Thomas the richest man in can be. After my father died, he visits us more often and always helps. He's very fond of pumpkins and has lots of them in his farm. His wife died from cancer at a young age and orphaned two daughters. His passion is books, which will fill the shelves at home. He has a lot of books. He also has many paintings. A specific one hangs in the large hall. Well worth looking at. Arthur. Hmm. Now, now, demon. Let's not pick on Satan. It's probably not a good idea. Okay, so there's nothing else really to do in here. I think I need to go check out the cornfield as much as it pains me to say that. No. Oh, he's right there. Fuck off, bozo. Shit, I'm almost out of juice here. I just barely made it out. It's pronounced satin. <laughs> I'm going to need probably about 5k to finish my whole project for a gaming room. That's cool. Okay. Fuck. Hopefully that's it for now, and then he just fucks off after that. I'm just going to recharge. Because I don't think I have any potions for that. No, I don't. Plenty of green, uh, plenty of blue herbs, no green. Plenty of files, so I have eight fucking files. Eight blue herbs, no greens. It's like, fuck. Fuck. Uh, be gone, thought. I'll just keep running this way. There's got to be something around here that's important. I've so far yet to find anything glowing. Oh, it's in there. I see it. Run. Oh my God, where's the exit? I'm running out of stamina. Where is the fucking exit? I'm almost there. Come on. Oh. Okay, good. So we're done with the cornfield. Now I gotta go over to the spot to the east. And... I listened to the cassette too, which we know where that is. <clears throat> oh. Okay. So we're just going to head towards that question mark out in this direction somewhere. I should really fucking chill. 
and let my stamina come back up. So I'm going to grab yet another blue herb. Unbelievable. Like, I feel like this... Fuck. Well, didn't have much time to play around with that. There it is. Oh, it's from the picture. Secret place, Tom's camp. So what's here that's so special other than having this Alright, so it looks like it's up to my to my right a bit. That direction? Okay. It's just special getting into that, I guess. Oh, right there. Fuck! It's stuck. Wait, is it inside? How do I fucking get to that? Just go back and around? No. What the shit? Is there maybe another secret door somewhere here? Oh, I can push this. Okay. Keep going. Nice. Alright. Pumpkin. I arrived at camp and was already about to gather my tools when this, be when this beast appeared. I took my pumpkin and put it on the monster's head. I must have blinded it because it ran off into the woods. I need this pumpkin to retrieve the key to the office where my daughters are. I must find it. The beast has moved to the east. Oh, no. So, you put a key inside of a pumpkin. First off, what the fuck? And then you grab that same pumpkin and smash on top of a monster's head that ran off with it. Awesome. Just, just great. There's more creek action here. Unknown site to be explored still off to my left, and the task area is over to my left as well. Have I not explored this place in full? Yeah, look. This one's missing the pumpkin. <laughs> it's fucking funny. Are those the special mushrooms he was trying to find? I don't remember. Alright, so I don't know where this other special place to visit is. Somewhere off here, I think. To the right. Am I really supposed to go down there? I don't think so. No, I don't I don't know if I should go down there. Still kinda over to my right. But it's this place right here. I've been here. Son of a bitch. Also, great job keeping it nice and secret. And not being able to get over there, because I just walked over there without jumping. Okay. So we're going to find something out here to the right. Something out here in the wilderness. What the fuck noise was that? It, like, reverberated, too. Oh, my God. Alright, that's pretty fucking funny, actually. <laughs> Sick. Place the pumpkin. Okay. I now have the key to the office that opens Tom's office. Which is upstairs. Yeah, I can't save it um, unless I find the little green book. 
There are some auto saves though that do occur. Um, although I don't think they're very plentiful. Back in this direction, back to Tom's. Nice. Made it. Still don't have a fucking weapon. Somebody mentioned a, mentioned a gun at some point. Oh, no. They didn't make it. Hi. Uh, don't like that. Oh, God. Oh, I can't pick that up. It's just a little lantern. No, it's a health potion. I want it. Thank you. Health Enthusiast Achievement Unlocked. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Courage is to resist fear. Mastery of fear. Not absence of fear. Mark Twain. Okay. Uh, excuse me? Oh, just a book on water. It's not... <laughs> I figured it the color. I was like, I need that. Secret item. Item Hunter Achievement Unlocked. Zeno's book part three. Recent events kept me up at night. I avoided the creek. One day I found a dead fox. My first thought was the creek and the cow I carried there. I decided to throw the fox there. When the night came, I went into the woods and saw what I expected. Devil's eating game. Interestingly, the creatures were not interested in me. I returned home and waited to see what would happen next. I guess that's what happens next? Hopefully that's not Tom, because this looks really bad. Can I grab one of the axes, please? My god. Like, there's nothing for me to... I can use as a weapon here, is what you're telling me. I'll go listen to the cassette. There's no chip. Oh. Damn it! I knew it wouldn't work. But Tom thought the opposite. I don't know where they are now. I have hidden on a cornfield. But I'm just running out from here. He knows I'm here. And he will want to get me. If you listen to this, follow the ravine north to the brook and find me. Uncle Arthur gave me clues. I hope thanks to this, I'll be able to find them. Hopefully. He came at once, your booty. Should I get TikTok and Snapchat? Um, get whatever you feel like comfortable with. So man, three more secret items. We're getting ready for the next level up. We still need to get more secret places, though. Hello? There's a green herb over there. I must have walked right over it. Ignorant. Alright, I can save in here. Nice. Okay. Go get this green herb. That sweet, sweet green herb. Okay. Um, so to treatment, we have three health potions. We don't have any stamina potions, but we can make one. So I just did. Okay. Go to the place specified by Arthur. Okay. Way up north. Okay, so I need to take a left from here. Keep the woods on my right. There we go. Get the fuck out of Tom's property before he thinks I killed his kids. I certainly did not. I don't even know what 
fucking animal makes that noise. And I hear it in all sorts of different games. And, oh, saving. What the fuck is that? Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Good thing they're slow. Because I am not. Why can't I get over? There we go. Okay. Uh, to the left. <laughs> Probably an owl. Oh. I guess so. That makes sense. <laughs> I guess just that particular recording always throws me off. I don't know why. How the fuck? I don't know what the f that sounds like a dying dog. How the fuck do I get down there? Can I just Skyrim this? One of those letters with the frills that open up like a fan. Oh, the um, I know what those are. Dilophosauruses. Yeah, I'm Skyriming it. Okay, that worked. Ooh, more green herb. Nope, never mind. What the fuck? Brought me all the way out here just to find... Wait a minute. A badge of holiness. Yo, thanks for the host shoes. Appreciate you, buddy. He's right over here. Down one. Nice shot. The one's behind me. He shot me in the back. Nice shooting, Tex. Um. Okay, I'm here. Oh, I'm not quite there. That was just an extra thing, I guess. What the fuck? I'm literally on the fucking X in the corner. There must be a way to get up there. <laughs> Jesus fucking dog shit. Hi, Tree. Cut off right before my teammate punched the guy. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Tree. I need to get on the other side of this ravine. Hopefully there's no invisible walls anywhere and I can actually get there. Wait. This is where I started. The ravine Uncle Arthur spoke about. Just hang on a bit longer. I was just yeah, now where? Go through the ravine map. Okay. Figured. So basically I could have just backtracked and I took the longest fucking dumb way to get there, but I found a badge while doing it. something here. Oh, God! We're at a point in the game now where you need to seriously do that to me? Fuck. Oh, God, that hurt my back. Oh, 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 oh. oh. An abandoned house. He keeps trying to catch me. It's hard to run away, knowing who he was to me before. I hide in a nearby abandoned house. There was a couple living there, but no one had seen the husband of the woman who lived there. The only thing I heard was that she called him as Piggy. The house is very big, so I'll have a chance to escape. What the fuck? Search the abandoned house for information. Alright, it's up there. There's definitely a wolf nearby. Being fucking annoying. Green herb? Green herb. There's the house. I'm sorry, what fucking noise was that?
fucking gunshots? Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you for the host, demon. <laughs> Scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm like, yo, there's people alive and they got guns. I'm so excited. <laughs> nope. I just ran around this house for literally nothing. Zeno's book part four. An abandoned... Okay, no more foxes in the last six weeks. Now I love the dark monsters. No complaints about foxes and my chickens are safe. Plus, I scare my kids with them when they are naughty. It is something wonderful. I wanted to use my new friends for other purposes. Unfortunately, when I threw in the weeds, even though they were eaten, they continued in my garden. More than that, weed-like plants started growing in the creek. Very sharp plants. Monsters also don't eat insects like flies, mosquitoes, or fucking ticks. That sucks. These monsters have AKs. <laughs> That'd be great. The Bayou Boys come out the woods with AKs about to clap Chuck's cheeks. <laughs> Dude, that was so fucking funny. <laughs> I should probably have a noise play before the host kicks in, so I know a host is there, or or, or it has been has been done. Sometimes I can hear my husband whispering as he lies down. <laughs> what? Why did that sound like the creepiest fucking thing ever? And why is there a chain here? Yo, what? What kind of fucking place is this? No, 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 no. We are not going to have that fucking scarecrow turn into a fucking spider. It is not going to happen on my fucking watch. Thank you. I'm going to watch after stream and see your reaction again. <laughs> Totally putting socks on a spider. <laughs> I I am fucking all set with that idea. Thank you though. Fuck that. Yeah. Pretty much. Just some bones, doesn't say anything. Never fear shadows, for shadows only mean there is a light shining somewhere nearby. Oscar Wilde. Give me the file. Alright, the old closet I need a key for. I don't have that. We will find it. Secret item again? Damn. Nothing in that. Alright, we got like another room here. Oh, there's something down there. Hey, it's a broom. That'd be great. Even if I could use that as a weapon, I'd feel a little bit better. Something's dead in here. Probably me. A thin key that opens an old closet. Hey! Oh my god! What in the fuck? What in the fuck? Oh! No! Why do you do these things to me? Well, now I know what happens when I grab the key. Pick up the fucking thing. Ah! Jesus fucking Christ. You be quiet. <laughs> oh good. She stays in there. God damn it. I found a cassette. Promise I gotta find a place I can listen to it. God damn, 15 secret items now.
Ooh. Stamina potion. Nice. Good time for the AK. Yeah. I would take literally any weapon to try to defend myself from whatever the fuck that thing is. And clearly I need to go downstairs. But let me just check the... Uh... So, find out devices like I said. Sure. Search the abandoned house for information. God damn it, I have to go back in. I'm going to PTSD due to the other uh, spider. Good night. Yeah, have it. Have a good night, man. I, I'm going to run for it. Can I open this door? Alright, I think I did this the wrong way. Maybe I should have done all of this work first. That's pretty gross. <laughs> pretty fucking gross. Maybe I should have done all the work first, then grab the key last. She's way too fast. Yeah. Interesting AI. But I get it. It unloads when you leave the house. Probably to save memory. Abandoned basement. You're gonna tell me that thing can't just crawl down here after me? I'm calling massive bullshit on that. Alright, real quick. Just looking around all the different places. That is a wild pig. A boar. Insert the cassette. What was it you got for the progression? I'm still stuck. Um. So. If you recall, you you find the giant spider. Um, inside like that main house you first get to, in like the little side room, and it just scurries out and it goes into the stable. There's something after you get, um, after you pick up the key in the closet at the end of the hallway when the scarecrow spawns there. Um, you have to go back to the second place you saw the spider. There's going to be an area in that big shed. There's a place where you can uh, use that key to unlock it. Um, the map just doesn't clear the old objective and post the new one. Uh, he let me know that it's a bug and he's going to fix it. Yeah. Alright, so now we know where to go next, which is search Steven's house for information. Which is where? What the fuck? <laughs> it's the other side of the fucking map. God damn it all. Alright. Oh no! Please let me go. Oh fuck! No! No, I'm gonna die! Please, why won't you open? Oh. Fuck! Oh, it kicked him right where we left off. Oh, you know what I can do? Higher flashlight level. Maybe I cursed you. I'll beat the shit out of you, Charles. What Charles is ass? Thank you for the biddies, dude. 
I don't think you've cursed me. I'm just like, how the fuck do I get out of here? Let me just practice that first. Like, what is that shit? Comes through the fucking wall like that? Thank you for the hinties. <laughs> no, no problem. I don't know what to do. I thought it would be safe here. Like there's I don't know what to do. I I can't I'm dead. I think there's... What do I fucking do there? I'll keep putting the fucking cassette in here and trying again, but... I don't know what to do. Just... That fucking scares me every time, and I don't know why. If there was another way out of here, that'd be even better, but there really isn't. Oh, I just stand up, apparently. <sighs> Jesus, fuck. Okay. Well, that's ignorant. <laughs> Head to the east. East? I thought you said weast. Saving. All right, good. Oh, my God. That's another pissed off one. Yeah, fuck you, bro. I am not slowing down for your ass. Have a lovely evening. Alright, so we're getting there. Do we have any items? Nothing. Okay. Run through the woods. Like you just don't care. Who cares about them bears and tigers? We got them there, aliens or whatever the fuck these things are. Little demons. Great. Another fucking abandoned house. A.K.A. Steven's house, apparently. Look at all these fucking blue orbs, but no greens. Unbelievable. Nothing in the truck, huh? Does this truck work? Assume there's something strong to destroy it. Okay. Where's the door to get in here? Did I go? Oh, I went right past it. Okay. Alright, we're in Steven's house. It'll be the best if you end up in this shit. You overreacted yesterday when you insulted my father. He is dead. Remember about it. A little respect. A little respect. I know what you did. Two liters of moonshine and three bottles of vodka are gone from my basement. We'll settle this man to man. Maybe tomorrow at the knife arena. Don't be late. Ooh. So that's why Steven's hand was cut. Interesting. Oh my god, someone has a kitchen here? I am shocked. Edward. He always gave me a beer, even though he's a nervous wreck. Everything bothers him but his dog. He'd rather not talk to people than sit in the woods. In the past, he also used to drink too much. Maybe his character is a result of not drinking. Oh, thank you, Fry. Have a lovely night. Um, I hope you have a great Tuesday. And everything is well. And sleep well. Oh my god. I'm waiting for another fucking spider thing to jump out at me. Well, that's uh, probably a 
probably a bunch of secrets on the map north of a house. <laughs> Actually, that might be an area that we were running past. But that's a good. That's a good little. Map. You know, tree. You can just say hi in the chat. But where's the fun in that? I heard there's a certain mushroom field somewhere. Maybe I can find the ingredient there. Thank you for the bits as well. Empty. There's no one at Steven's house. The monsters must have gotten here by now and escaped. He left notes about some scientists who knew about the beasts beforehand. The stranger must have something to do with it. I'll try to find his house and find out something. Edward. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. This is a horror stream. You're not wrong. Another goddamn file. Another secret item. <clears throat> stranger. One day a stranger tenant came to see me. He said he had recently moved in and lived across the creek. He told me all about the monsters and supposedly he knows where their hiding place is. For a long time, he has been a scientist and has done some research in that forest. According to him, the devil's lair must be destroyed to stop them. The hideout is protected by sharp thorns. Stephen. Well, interesting. Time to head upstairs. I had to escape. I could already feel their breath on my back. I need to hide. I head west to the World War II cemetery known here. I take my room keys with me. My lab cannot be destroyed. This is the only chance, Stephen. So this door is locked. Okay. Alright, so I need to head back out in that direction then. Hmm. Okay. Nope. Mm -mm. I'm going to save first before I do anything else. Do a hello. Alright, before I go in that direction, I want to see if there's a way into this place. I think there isn't. I think there's just that one spot right there. And this is probably his, uh, his lab. Whatever the hell he's doing in there. Oh look, another blue herb. Burr. Okay. So yeah, there's no other way in there except for breaking down that little spot that I found. Okay. And everything else here is pretty much clear. So, we need to head to that cemetery. Which is... Due west. Let's try to get up some uh, stamina again so I don't get caught. Whip my pants down. Motherfucker. Double motherfucker. Oh, green herb. Damn it! I thought it was. Oh, this must be it. What the fuck is all this? Meat. These beasts love the taste of raw meat. I took a few pieces of meat to survive. When a monster sees me, all I have to do is to throw a piece of meat and it'll run to eat it. Unfortunately, this only works as a decoy. I can't get rid of them forever. Thanks for the heads up. Or cemetery. Oh my god, that one's a dark one.
shit, it's just more meat. I've been befuddled. Did I go too far? No. Dump, dump. Alright. What am I still trying to find here? Because I found it opened Steven's room. Is that what I needed? Must be something else around here. I, oh, I thought I dropped the meat for a second. Oh, no. I think I have run out of meat. Definitely out of meat. Shit. Oh, fuck. That thing was sitting there waiting for me. Well, not really. It spawned there. Shit. I don't really know where else I need to go here. Fuck. Fuck off. It gives me some room at least for now, but... What the fuck, man? Hmm... What am I exactly looking for here? Find the key to Steven's room. Oh, I did. It's another bug. Steven's room. Steven's room. Yeah, I just, the bug doesn't... Uh, this is the, just the same thing as last time. It doesn't want to update. When I get to the next spot, it'll probably update. I'll have to let the dev know if this is... If, if we confirm this here. Please don't eat me. Uh, I cannot run yet. I was waiting for the stamina to charge all the way up. Time to go. See ya, bud. He's on mags. I didn't bring him meat. Alright, I've made it. Fucking. Alright, first off. Zeno's book, part five. After several months of observing these creatures, I know something interesting. The monsters live somewhere in the creek, and they smell blood when eaten. Therefore, when I threw in one fox, then the fiends ate more foxes until they were full. 
There's another important thing. You can only stop this process if the blood of the organism is fresh and then death occurs. Then they stop being interested in it. I did an experiment on a hare whose blood I put in a creek and then killed it. The other hares were not affected, but I think I need to stop this. Jesus, dude. Yeah, you do. Now, this is not the end. It is not even the beginning of the end, but it is perhaps the end of the beginning. Winston Churchill. Okay. Before I go grab that, what's shiny over here? No, it's some weird lighting then. Okay. Well, then I guess let's make sure these... Oh, these do open. Nope. Ooh. Ingredients. To get to the Devil's Lair, you need to create a corrosive acid that will destroy the fence. You need to get a sharp plant seen on the east from the house, a rare blue mushroom in Edward's forest, and a skull with fresh meat in the ditch below the house. Stephen. Jesus fuck. Yeah, no problem. We'll just make this concoction. Okay. see which one is the first okay so slightly to the left oops oh fuck no Fucking Audi. Alright, shut up, bro. I'll explore the rest of that site later. I, I got the mushroom, I think. Or this oh skull with meat, disgusting. <laughs> Fuck off, bitch. It was a green herb street ahead, that's fun. Oh, no. Pretty sure that was the special herb we needed. I have to head to the left. Sharp plant can cut human skin. Yep. And the last one's going to be over here. Oh, you're gonna fucking follow me, huh? Great. Follow me, you can, if you'd like. And I think I lost him for now. <gasps> the secret mushroom. Okay, now I can go back up to the house, which is up to the left. Fuck. I'm already relatively low on stamina. Alright, I think I outran it for now. Shit. Fuck. Leave me alone, asshole. Alright. Made it to the house. Haha. -ha. Close this door, too. Alright. Got all the parts. Human skull with shit on it. Sharp plant. And a blue mushroom. That's totally how that works. Ooh. This big shed. 
There still must be some information lying around. I hope so. So we got a strong ass that can destroy the monster's gate. And the gate is, I was going to say, it's, we already saw it, but... Let's uh, save it before we go any further. You know, I think it just saved, but fuck it. Alright. You just cover it in acid, and then you can move it. I found you here, Stephen. I heard what you said today about my father. You should be ashamed. You don't even know how much he did for us when our mother passed away. He still lives. I do his ashes in my form. Oh God, he's the scarecrow. That's what that is. Oh, they're packing me full of fucking herbs here. I have enough to make another one of these. So we got three and three. Stamina enthusiast achievement unlocked. Nice. There's no way I'm alone in here. Yep. Thought so. That's just a light source, I guess. this for something to reach something high I assume another secret item um, just search the shed okay <clears throat> I forgot to do that again so we need three more secret places to get faster recovery I don't even know what these are for, but I want to go get them. It. Oh shit! I'm stuck. <clears throat> ah! A ah, bitch. Creepy. Oh shit. Oh, dodging them. Dodge and weave. Man, I don't know where these boxes are going, but I'm just glad I got them all together. Like a good old happy family. Like, I seriously have no idea where I'm supposed to be going with this. Something here. Oh, I have to, that's what I have to do. I have to make a little set of steps so I can jump over that fence, I bet. 
get to the note using the appropriate boxes. Mm-hmm. Bring it around town. Alright, recharge the stamina. Oh, we're gonna get this. Oh shit! Damn, he got there quick. Jump? What the fuck, dude? He didn't want to jump. How's my health? Injured. Fuck. Alright, we had to. Right there. Haha, -ha, bitch. Scientist house. An unfamiliar scientist told me that he lives across the creek. To get there, you have to go south from my house. When you come across a path, follow it until you reach the creek. There are supposedly old vehicles in front of the house, Stephen. Alright. If you say so. Holy hell. Jesus. Okay. Run. Get the fuck up and out of here. Okay. So we have to head south from his house, and there should be a path. Sure. Whatever you fucking say. I don't think there's going to be a path here at all. At least something that looks like a path, maybe. What's this? Oh, this is where he made his moonshine. This isn't a secret location? Uh oh. That would have been really cool to have marked off. I got turned around doing that. Getting there. Fuck. Screw you. Getting real close. She old vehicles in front of the house, they said. The scientist lives behind this brook. This is my last hope. Yeah, before we're just like, fuck it. Oh yeah, he's way out here past everything. I wonder if this is this is probably endgame material, I would assume. Great. Already got some more wolves chiming in. So tasks are search scientist house for information. It's on the map. We're heading there now, over on the far east side. Fuck, I was about to say, let me save up my fucking stamina here. Old cars in the front yard. This is it. Well, car. Saving. This should be fun. I'm sure there's nothing scary in this house at all. Oh, 
Oh. Real monsters. While exploring the creek, I discovered that beasts which are living there eat other organisms when they feel their blood. This is how my fox disappeared when another dead fox was dumped in the creek. These creatures are very dangerous, and I have also found their hiding place to be fenced by sharp thorns. No blade can break through them. Well, good thing I have some more of this strong acid. It's a key. It opens the door at the scientist's house. Okay. Which door is that? The world may never know, but we're going to find out. Oh, this is the bathroom, so it's not this. This isn't the secret room. Okay. Another file. Did I already go through all these? Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, it's a bloody-ass fucking truck. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing really doing here. What this door? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Fucking Christ! Holy fuck, dude! That son of a bitch! Herbivores, monsters that eat pungent plants in a stream are different from those that eat meat. After research, I noticed that herbivores will not eat others, but their bite can cause the body to turn into a tree. For example, the poison gets into the blood and causes this effect. It was probably these monsters that created the spiky barrier. Interesting. The big tree in the brook looked like a, a human. Mm-hmm. Damn it. It must have been Victor. Could have been, yeah. Secret item, pick it up. The death is close. Tonight while I was in the creek, I noticed a man. He was carrying some dead animals there. At one point, he slipped and hurt himself, and the monster smelled his blood. I ran after him, and all I saw was him throwing some book in the cornfield. If he doesn't die, then we are all dead. I have to find a way to destroy these thorns. Got it. Secret item. A lie can be halfway around the world before the truth has got its boots on. James Callahan. That makes sense. I didn't manage it. I found a way to destroy the devil's lair, but the man responsible for providing the ingredients failed me. I can't do it myself, plus I destroyed my last lab. The monster will be home soon. Earlier I was attacked by some other creature that acted like a devil, but looked human. I hide in the closet and pray for survival. Jesus. Which closet did you hide in, bro? Oh. Never mind. We found him. Shit. Zeno's book, part six. Many years have passed. My wife has died, and I am getting weaker. Anna, Arthur, and Edward take care of my farm. I didn't walk to the creek no more. While walking, I found a dead Martin. It reminded me of the creatures, so I threw it where I always did. I watched the devils relish the carcass. Suddenly, I got a nosebleed. The monsters smelled the blood and started walking towards me. One of them bit me on the leg, but I managed to escape. I am terrified, and these are my last words. I must commit suicide to save my family. If you are reading this, remember that I wrote and what I wrote, and be careful. Wow. Hate to tell you, great grandpapa, but it didn't work. Like, at, at all. Well, that was scary as fuck. Oh, there's some meat. 
I seriously can't use the axe yet. How many axes are you going to put into this game that I can't use? The house full of answers. For the purpose of research in the creek, I built a hut to be closer to a specific location. There are notes in the hut that indicate the location of the monster hideout. Only I knew where it was located. The hut is located west of my house, and my truck is parked nearby. Great. The life after death. Who would have thought that I would be able to see him again? He used to teach us how to live, and now he wants to kill us. Our father was resurrected. Was it done by these beasts? This is all so strange. The supposed scarecrow turned out to be our father, but no one knows how it happened. So Fuck. the monster that was chasing me was Azina. But how? Why? Oh, it's time, baby! It's time, baby, to knock the raid! I'm gonna figure out where the ghost is. Where are you? Uh. <laughs> I fucking love that one. So good. How you doing, bud? How did uh, how'd Doom 64 treat you? I'm going to go back down over that bridge and then southwest. Jug! Twy! Twy, Jug! Oh, God! Okay. Well... At least it was right around the fucking corner. <laughs> fucking asshole. Oh, he knocked the fucking door down. He's pissed. Alright, we get ahead. Over here to the right ish. Follow the path. We'll find the way across. I found something in the air tonight, so I stopped streaming. Learn to speed run. That's great. Fuck off. I should have brought meat for you so you could have fucked off. To the left. <laughs> Twy, thank you for the host. I almost don't want him to go away. The music is fantastic. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, Rage, thank you for the host. Appreciate you, buddy. Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit. That's what I call a this bear hug. Pick me up and bear hug me. <laughs> Fuck. All right, all right. I know, I know. Uh, left, more left. This way. All right. Did we made it. Almost there. A big Unga Bunga weapon enjoyer, too. Quality gamer. <laughs> oh, here's the old truck. Here's the hut. That was helpful. Ooh, upside down cross. Very nice. Scientist's house. It was creepy that just turned on. He's got legit nothing in here except a piece of paper and a cassette. This is my fault. I wasn't being completely honest. As I was running away from the monsters, I slipped, trying to avoid falling, and grabbed a sharp plant. I hurt my hand and the monsters smelled the blood. From that moment on, animals started to disappear and my family felt anxious and afraid. When I ran home with my bloody hand, I threw the book in the cornfield. That's when I had to resurrect Zeno, and I was the one who brought about this nightmare. I'm sorry. Arthur, you fucked up. I don't even have a cassette to listen to right now. Is there not? I have oh, there's never one here. Okay. seen anything like this before. Mutated plants that catch your body like a thread. Like a thread. They make sounds as if the souls didn't want to last an eternity. And these monsters, devils, whatever devils. If you are brave enough, head east until you reach the brook. Watch out for spikes, my friend. My friends. I won't tell you where the hideout is. I want to forget about it. Great, so we're going to have an, an area to look into. Or not. It just has an X. Um, go to the Devil's Creek. All right. 
Um, let's head out and go to the east. Right way, right way. That's multiple. This is the right way because I can see a blue herb. Oh, fuck me in the ball sack. Okay, it is in this whole region. We're looking for the hideout. Green herb? Green herb, let's go. Oh, it's the spider, fuck. Gross. Fuck off. Ha ha! Spoder man, spoder man. Um, alright, so what do I have for three green herbs and two blue herbs? I think I do one of each. That's two and two. One and two. Alright. Here we go. Charge up my stamina here. Oh my god. It does what I have for a Spooner Man can. Which is not much. Um, hmm. So let's see. I'll keep it. No. Push the little daisies and make them come up. Push the little daisies and make them come up. Push the little daisies and make them come up. Push the little daisies and make them come up. All right, fine. I'll push the little daisies and make them come up. I wish this spider would fuck off, though. I feel like I have to go that way. Well, fuck. Like that dodge right there? That was fucking gorgeous. I'm stuck. <laughs> Jump, bitch. Let's see. Okay, so this is a dead end. I'm like stuck on the right side. Can I get up there? I'm gonna try. Yeah, Skyrim climbing tactics. Let's go. I don't know what the real way it is to get here, but this is good. I found a photo for the collection. Zeno's lost cow. Oh. Jug with the nifty moves. Hey. Know it. Nothing but the best content around here. <laughs> You know what would be good is if there was something glowing out here in the woods that could be like, hey, that must be the right way to go. But no. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh. How did I get back to the house? Whoops. <laughs> Ooh. All right, I head to the left. Oh, there's that. 
Fuck. Where the fuck's your hideout, you assholes? I want to hang out and party. I bet you it's down one of these directions. Right down to the left, I bet. Oh, wait, didn't I go down here? Oh my god, I found it. Let's go. Wait, it's nine? I need one more secret place to get faster recovery. I mean... Are we good here? Can I just walk through that? I don't know if I can. Fuck okay. it. Okay. But I can't do anything more with that. Devil's Lair. Oh boy. Look at all the fucking bones in here. Oh, the devil's lettuce in here. What the fuck is that? Is there a map for in here? Oh, fuck. I don't want to know what that... Oh my fuck. <clears throat> There's a bunch of fucking spider eggs. Not good. More spider eggs. That is a big motherfucker. I really wish I had a map of where I was going. That's where I just came from. Something is going on, like, in there. Alright, I gotta take a fucking... Stamina. Just enough to get me away from this dude. No. Shit. I didn't make it. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. I'm begging you. Please. Nope, too late, Gabriel. It appears we're... Ah! No. <laughs> No, we got grabbed. Am I still alive? Am I going to wake up somewhere? Or is that it? I have nothing but a black screen just like everyone else sees right now. Hello? Hello? <laughs> you died. I mean, I'm pretty sure, but... Are there credits? Oh, here we go. Damn. That was, um... That, for, for a first game, that, I think that was a pretty solid game. Um... Little hokiness here and there. Um, but overall, pretty solid story. I like what they were doing with it. 
Um, I like how we it kept like stepping up and stepping up, and like the jump scares were still like really well timed. Um, the atmosphere was great. The music came out fantastic. Um, so I, I'm happy I spent the time on the demo and was like excited for this game to come out because I feel like this is worth it. Um, and I feel like it's going to get better when the small little bugs, like the progression stuff, those get resolved. Because, um, I mean, but it's it's since we know like how to get around it, it's like, oh, okay. Uh, but this was good. I liked it. I think it was definitely worth the price tag of nine ninety nine. Because you've actually saved people, or is it scripted to have everyone die? Um, there was really no... Um, decision making or anything like that i think it was just a matter of everyone's already dead by the time you got there um or about to be dead because we did hear a couple of screams but when we found this the scientist he looked like he'd been dead for a while so i don't know so while that's doing that i'm gonna see how many achievements i had 15 out of 20 that actually got a lot more than i thought it was gonna get <clears throat> The five I missed, collect six tips. I did not get six, only got like three. Collect six images, I got one. Collect six badges, I think we got one. Light one marijuana bush. I didn't see that, what the fuck? And then sign a contract with the demon. Oh, maybe there was another room I could have gone up there. Huh, interesting. Either way, not too bad for first run through getting 15 out of 20. <clears throat> Um, let me see if I can get some music on really quick for the background. Because for whatever reason, there's no music here. Speaking of lighting some ganja bush, I'll be right back. <laughs> gotcha, bro. Gotcha. Michael Hale, Gabriel Arthur, Paul is Jacob Gorney. Tari Helmer was Anna, and Grant Holmes was Edward. Noise. <clears throat> As that song ends, there we go. Uh, jeez, this is great though. Like he found a lot of stuff online that you could just kind of give credit to. Ooh, excuse me. So we didn't have to like go and design a bunch of shit, which is nice. Special thanks. Pavrick Games. Pretty solid debut for a, a developer. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, especially in terms of indie horror games, I have played some really fucking bad ones. Uh, this was not one of them. I think that's a good thing. And there we are, back at the main menu. And we're bouncing on out of there. So that's going to do it for the last visit. Uh, definitely definitely worth the, uh, the $10 price tag. It was worth the wait after the demo. Um... Fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Um, so I guess the question is now, is what's going to come next? I mean, I don't think we're going to do anything else tonight. Uh, it's a little after midnight. Um, and I have a little bit of work I have to do. Um, that I was supposed to do already, but I didn't. <laughs> um, I mean, we got a bunch of chilla arts games we can play. Um, and I also have... A lot of other stuff up my sleeve too, like oh, like the Stanley Parable. So we're gonna play that. Um, we got some stuffs, some stuffs to plays, and I also have a bit more. Uh, I'm gonna do some more planning for uh, Jugtober this year because we are not too far off. We're like a month and a week away from Jugtober already. Holy shit! Um, so I'm looking forward to uh, getting that 
planned up and making it look awesome so that uh, it's whatever what everything should be a really fun month and uh, raising money for a good cause so our choices tonight we got corn husk shows playing slender the arrival uh, codename powers on playing last visit uh, RK gaming is playing a dead of night and Max Bex is playing Hunt Showdown. Hmm. Out of all of that, maybe we should go say hi to Power, since he's also playing Last Visit. I think that'd be good. We'll send it on over to him. He's a good dude. Um, uh, Army vet. Uh, all around fucking wholesome dude. Uh, his jump scares are fucking hilarious. His screams are hilarious. I mean, if you've ever been watching any of the Sane TBD videos, the Channel 13 horror videos, like, me and him kind of came out around the same time, I think, in terms of streaming. Um, so, like, I've always kind of, like, looked at him as, like, inspiration on a lot of stuff, too. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> uh... But he's, um, it's a lot of the games he's played, I've been like, I need to check that out. And I typically like them. So I think we have very similar tastes in horror games. Uh, he's also sitting here playing Last Visit as we just finished it. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to try to be back tomorrow with some more stuff to do, more stuff to play. Maybe more hot sauces. Um, and, uh... Yeah, we're getting real close to the follower goal. We're at 452 followers. We're 48 away from that dreaded spicy teddy bear of... Uh, gummy bear of doom. Teddy bear, what the fuck? Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to see how the next month and a bit goes before we roll into Jugtober. And uh, I think that's all I've got. Yeah, that's all I've got. Let's kick off this raid. Um... Thank you all for hanging out tonight. Super appreciated. Thank you for the... Uh, we got some resubs tonight. We had uh, Nox hitting us with the, the rate of two, which is super cool. Um, and now we're going to go and, and spread this love out to Codename Power and his community. They're playing Last Visit just like we were. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it. Probably see you tomorrow night. Have a lovely evening and a great Tuesday. Bye.